Let us look at this equation or this question which, which reads like this. For what value or values of p does the equation x squared plus px plus p equal to 0 have no real roots? Okay. So we're talking only about uh, real numbers. We're not going to complex numbers. Okay. So this is probably a question of level 2. Uh, so, you know, a qu any quadratic equation uh, can be solved by this quadratic formula, which is x is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, this is the most crucial part. This is also called the determinant determinant and in some books instead of writing b squared minus 4ac they also write delta so let me use delta instead of b squared minus 4ac so there are three possibilities of delta okay so delta is either less than zero delta is equal to zero or delta is greater than zero so if whenever if b squared if delta is less than zero, you are finding square root of a negative number. And in real numbers, you know that you cannot find square root of a negative number. So if you graph that equation where delta is less than zero, your uh, parabola would be, say, going some something like this, or it can also go upside down. Okay, I, so it can also be. A parabola something like going like this okay or it can be a parabola like this or it can be like this anyway in such a way that it doesn't intersect the x-axis so in this case when delta is less than zero there are we can see there are no real roots there are roots in complex numbers but in real numbers there are no roots okay so when this is okay let me complete so when it is equal to zero, you have only one solution. Okay, so your your parabola probably may look somewhat like this. It just uh, passes through one point. So this is the this case. Okay, so here you will say only one root. Only one root. And if it is greater than zero, that's the most common type of parabola that you'll see intersecting the x-axis at two different points so this is one example this you say there are two different distinct roots so this is say x1 and this is x2 and how would you describe this there are two distinct roots or two real roots two distinct roots okay so these are the three situations in real numbers that is a parabola either doesn't intersect the x-axis there you say there are no real roots it just passes through one point okay and then in that case uh, b squared minus 4 is will be equal to zero you describe it like only one root and this is the last case okay so we are talking about this type so basically what they are saying is this equation if you graph it it will be a, a parabola like this so they're asking for what value of p does this have no real roots so it is not one value it will be a range of values okay so let me write the equation x squared plus p x plus p is equal to zero so first let me decide what is a b and c so my a is the coefficient of x which is one b is the coefficient of x which is p and c is the constant which is again p so we know that there are no roots so we also know that delta is less than zero so let me write that again no real roots it's always good to write and remind yourself this implies delta which is b squared minus 4ac b squared minus 4ac is less than zero so which implies i know b is p so that is p squared minus 4 times 1 times p is 4p is less than 0. Okay, so let me graph 
let us I'll talk let if the graph p squared minus 4p I hope that that should be very uh, simple for you so if you graph the parabola of p squared minus 4p it's a sketch it will look somewhat like this form if you factorize this this is not drawn to sketch so these are the two roots I hope you can see that very clearly when you factorize this when would this become 0 when p is 0 or when p is 4 that is 4 squared minus uh, 16 minus 16 is 0 so this is 0 and this is 4 so now this is the graph of p squared minus 4p this parabola is the parabola of this equation so now you have to think when is this parabola becoming less than 0 okay, so this is this is at 4 and so at 0 and 4 the parabola becomes 0 so the question is when is this becoming less than 0 so well I can say this we're talking about this this part of the uh, parabola they're asking you for this part of the parabola what are the values of what are the values of p for which values of p is the parabola going underneath the x-axis so well I can say it is when p is greater than 0 and less than 4 for any value you take any value of p between 0 and 4 and then you will get a, a parabola uh, which will have no root so let us check so that it's always good to check and make uh, understand what the answer is so if I say what I'm saying is if you take any value of p between 0 and 4 the uh, the, the parabola that you'll get will be something like this okay so let us let me take p is equal to say 2 okay and let me use my graphic calculator so we know the equation is x squared plus px plus p so let me draw and go to graph and type in uh, so we know this is our equation so i'll type in x squared plus 2x plus 2 and then see what's happening can you see this is above the x-axis so let let me take change the 2 to say 5 it's uh delete and uh, this is also this should also be 5 and delete you can see what happens so it has got two roots what happens let me take one more what happens if it is x squared plus 3x plus 3 again it has no roots hopefully this video has been helpful see you in the next